We celebrate today the International Day of Friendship and both scholars and politicians have several initiatives for this celebration. World literature is full of examples of how friendship is political and can even change history. Uh, for example, in the Aeneid, the national poem of the Roman Empire, the poet Virgil shows how the friendship between two warriors, Euryalos and Nisus, uh, who die for each other, really creates the momentum which leads to the foundation of the great city of Rome. And uh, the, the whole uh, literature, fictional, non-fictional, uh, historical events, literary event, is totally uh, full of uh, depiction of the world-changing uh, and political role of friendship. And today, of course, uh, we talk of uh, human friendship and we also talk a lot of uh, friendship uh, uh, between the nations. And I know you are in uh, Taiwan, and uh, in these days, uh, uh, Taiwan is in a way uh, mobilizing its friends and asking them uh, to show their friendship. I believe also at the level of the Taiji Men case, we have seen uh, the friendship of the Taiji men Dizi that was so important uh, for their resilience, their more than 25 year long battle for justice. But we have seen in the last few years uh, this uh, exceptional uh, moving phenomenon of the friendship among uh, dozens uh, of uh, human rights activists and scholars throughout the world that share a concern for the case of uh, uh, Taiji men. Now, how to put these two things together? One, uh, the friendship uh, between scholars and Dizi, creating a community of friends caring for the Taiji men case, and uh, at the other level, the international friendship between nations, a uh, friendship uh, so important for Taiwan. Well, uh, I believe also to prove that it's taking seriously, uh, it's uh, uh, making the two main covenants on human rights of the United Nations as part of its domestic legislation, Taiwan should in a way show that it is aware of this global mobilization of friends, of scholars, of human rights activists who are asking for a political, reasonable, just solution to be found for the Taiji Men case. So if Taiwan will be at the center of international networks of friendship, international, intercultural, interreligious, Taiwan cannot uh, be uh, non-reactive and cannot ignore this uh, mobilization, this friendly mobilization of people who are not enemies of Taiwan, who actually have sympathy for Taiwan, but ask uh, Taiwan to solve the Taiji Men case. So let's hope that International Day of Friendship will be taken as an opportunity to advance towards real international friendship through listening to the international scholars and NGO leaders and human rights activists and through finding a solution for the Taiji Men case. Happy International Day of Friendship to everybody.